Hey, this is Chris, keeping it real facts over fear. How are you doing today? So we're gonna change things up on the channel a little bit. We got a, we had a video taken down last week, a week ago Friday for violating community standards, having something to do with medical misinformation. And of course, there's no, there's no details given even to, either during the initial takedown or the appeal. Just like, well, we're taking this video down, I appealed. And about seven hours later, I got an email saying your appeal's been rejected. Sorry if you get blah, 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 the usual. And so since this is Lee's channel, Keeping It Real is actually her channel. She's the one who started it. Uh, goodness, I don't know, six, seven, eight years ago. Been a while. Don't want to have all of her stuff taken down. Don't really care about most of what I've put up. <laughs> but, uh, and plus her other channel is still on this email address and so if, if, if keeping it real gets taken down then her other I don't know if you call it a sub channel or what gets taken down too and I don't want that to happen so <clears throat> I've got a you I've got a gmail account that I have just for convenience just in case I need a gmail address for whatever reason because some websites don't don't um, think my fast mail address is valid for some reason and so you know I run into that from time to time with websites I don't know if it's because it's in Australia or what but so I've had a gmail account for a long time and I just you know I just I've never really used it for anything except to get spam every day <laughs> in that account and so <clears throat> I can obviously use the YouTube account attached to that address and so that's what I'm going to do and so I'll have to figure out a name, and uh, we'll start putting the COVID-19 videos onto that channel. And as far as the other videos that I do, uh, I think, you know, like the general interest ones or, you know, local history or we'll keep on here. Uh, I'm not sure about the construction videos. I don't know that makes a difference one way or another. I might keep putting construction videos on there and then alter them slightly uh, to put on that channel as well so we'll see how that goes but uh, I will so keep your eye out uh, when I do post something uh, I will give a link to that other YouTube account or specific videos in that YouTube account uh, you know if you are interested uh, when the time comes that you visit that channel I hope you'll subscribe uh, we're not making any money at this. It's not like, uh, you know, we have tens of millions of viewers or anything. We have about 740 subscribers, and I'm not sure even our even our watch total is well below what it would take to get paid. And to be honest, I'm not. I don't really want to do business with Google anyway. Uh, after this latest little incident, uh, but I'm more than happy to put videos up because I think that having COVID-19 videos that deal with, and I'll probably just stick to more things of a statistical nature and let the viewer figure things out for themselves rather than spoon feed them information. I mean, y'all are pretty smart. So, you know, I don't think I need to say every little thing. I have a feeling I know what the problem was, but you know, I, I'm not gonna say it on this video because I'll probably get flagged because I really don't think when people talk about artificial intelligence at Facebook and Google, I don't really buy it. You know, these, these algorithms and blah, blah, blah. And I think most of it's just a simple keyword search. And if they find two keywords in the same video, uh, then they latch onto it. And maybe a human being actually looks at it. I doubt it. Uh, not with all the millions of videos that are on YouTube. And so... <clears throat> I think it's one of those things where, you know, if you have an email address and you set the spam filter too high, it, you know, that's not AI either. That's just, well, here's certain words. We don't want those, boom, we're done. Or, or, you know, I know it's a little bit more complicated than that, but basically that's what it is. It's, it's not like there's this machine that's smart enough to know the difference or can, you know, understand context or can read or can understand or can think. I mean, we're... 
way, way, way short of that. So, so that's really what, you know, if you've seen the, I'll put the link to that video, the, the video where I'm driving with the tape over my mouth. That's what that's all about. That's a big reveal, huh? <laughs> all right, been a somewhat frustrating experience, but we will carry on. And, you know, I've been thinking about going over to Patreon and doing something. I, I'm not interested in making money, and so I'm not sure that their model uh, really is suitable for me or them, actually. I don't know. I still have to look into it. And, of course, we could always do just email addresses. A lot of people, you know, don't... I don't know. Might try it, though, you know. We'll see. We'll look. We'll, we'll get the channel situation figured out first, and then we'll move on to these other tertiary, tertiary issues. I like using words that sound cool. Tertiary, it, it, you know, kind of, it kind of sounds like what it means. Yeah. Okay. I digress. Hope you're having a great week. It's hot out there. I hope. Um, if you're in the path of the hurricane, you take all diligent measures to protect yourself uh, and your loved ones. All right, we will see you on the next Sorted Out video.